What's up, everyone? We are back with another uh, little mini series on Press Start. This is Final Fantasy V2, <laughs> aka Final Fantasy VII Remake. Remake. It's back and better than ever. I'm Eric. You're Joey. This That's is Press true. Start. We you say get to it? we we get it going here. Let's do it. Continue. Nah, continuing is for noobs. We are we're not noobs. We can do this from the start. Start it. Just so kidding. we've got classic, I said that backwards. and normal. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Let's just take a look at these real quick. Player-controlled character will attack and defend automatically, allowing you to focus on executing commands. The battle difficulty is the same as easy. So it does classic everything Classic is easier than us. easy? It's yeah. easier. It, no, don't I, do that. No. That's, that's goofy. It's just like easy, but instead it attacks and defends automatically. Do you just want to watch it like a movie? No. Okay. Maybe. Easy. Select this if you want to enjoy the story without worrying about battles. Normals, the standard difficulty. Select this if you want to fully experience battles as well as... <laughs> I like how this says if you want to enjoy the story. Hmm, yeah. yeah. We, Play we it on normal know. if you don't... If you want yeah, to hate Let's go story. normal and just really not enjoy what's going yeah. on. All right, here we go. I, I highly <laughs> suspect the vast majority of this first episode may be us watching a yeah. cutscene. You know, but that's okay. We have a we get to take a deep breath as we look out over the Grand Canyon here. Um yeah, sure. Presents are you a square, are you a square Enix or Square Enix? I was Enix about person? to say Square Enix or Enix. It's weird. I think I always heard it Enix for, you know, the longest time right. and then I started hearing people say Square Enix and uh, there's a big debate, but then like two years ago at E3, mm -hmm. I saw different members of the Square E-Word team get up <laughs> and one after the other speak e differently. Team. Yeah, yeah, I actually did notice that as well. And I believe it was an E3 yes, that we were at. It? I'm trying to think because I think it was during a presser thing. Yeah, it was. I think it was 2018 probably. It was either 17 or 18. I can't remember. But yeah. I do remember there being a presser and we were watching and I was like, well, that that's not helpful. <laughs> Dude, this is wild because I know this is, uh, you know, an animated opening sequence, but uh -huh. this looks better than either of the like movies that they released, you know, like Final Fantasy Spirits Within or yeah, Advent is, Children. Yeah, this is quite a lot of uh, graphic perfection. Yes. It actually looks like, really good. You really can tell good. it's in the universe, like it's got that soft look to the characters, like her face right. just a second ago. It's got that look that just kind of... It's kinda, interesting. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how it ties it in, but somehow no. you can just tell. I totally like, get what you're saying because the environments look almost photorealistic, and then you see the characters, and when you look at them, they don't look real, necessarily, they look like if they final look, fantasy yeah. characters were real yeah like look at this like her, like her face is straight this is straight up final fantasy yes look and it's tough to explain it other than it's a final fantasy look right <laughs> yeah she's just hanging out there just by that sparkle by the pipe. pipe yeah when it's hey when a spoon of pipe sparkles you show it attention okay <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah he's, all right. I'm judging Logo. by all of these credits, I'm beginning to think this game was developed by a Japanese team. I'm guessing. Potentially, and I'm also going to say that uh, it looks like more than a couple people may have been involved. Yes, a lot <laughs> in of the production people. of... Oh, oh what, our what? flower gets squished. What Mr. Come hole. back and breathe life into that flower. Holy wow. What a scummy scummer. The flower just started singing a red song. Bring your life into me. I don't know what that means. You don't know the song? Uh, should I? Falling fast. Okay. Okay, no, I don't know that. Sorry. I, it's fine. You, just, you hurt me a little bit more every time you don't pick up a music reference, but it's fine. It's well, kind of like are. butt rock in a way, so, you know, you could, you could guess where I got the reference from, uh, uh. who was listening to that song. Yeah. I could guess. I mean, they opened up for Breaking Benjamin a couple years ago. Yeah, and I went to that show I to with the same person that may or may not listen to Red. So, just um, just saying. Oh, look at that! Oh, We've look. made it. We've made there it. it is. Five we minutes later, we're here. Wait, <laughs> back into more. 
Well, we're, we're, if I remember from the original, which I didn't get much past the beginning, yeah. um, this is the part where the game actually starts. Yeah, there's there's Cloud. Cloud? Mr. Cloud. Mr. Mr. Strife. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Strife, I'm sorry. Mr. Strife, your, uh, your car is waiting. It's so funny because when this game originally came out, all the commercials showed these just awesome CG cutscenes and stuff. And I remember playing the game for the first time years yeah. later. And when it actually jumps in, it's these blocky, chibi characters. And I was like, wait a minute, this is what the game looks like? When I fully expected it to look like this. Yeah. Oh. Did well, she kick him or stop before she kicked him? I couldn't tell. No, she kicked him. There was a thump. Yeah. I don't know how he just went down from that, but apparently she kicks really hard in the gut, so... I suppose so. He's done. He's just gonna lay there. I would... If she kicked me like that, I would just lay there, too. Let's bear it. Oh, that is Cloud Strike. Also, he is the strongest human being I've ever seen. Did you see how he was holding that sword? D dude, I... Honestly, it gives me life the way he whips this thing around like it literally is paper mache. So we bought a replica of the Buster Sword, like really? a full-size metal not, replica. Not styrofoam? Like this is the real deal? Yes, it's so freaking heavy. Oh. It's insane. Who goes there? Oh my gosh. Uh, halt, who goes there? Why do they say who goes there? As if you're going to give them a satisfactory answer that they're like, oh, okay, you know, never I've mind. I've always wondered that. I've always wondered that. It's very awkward. Oh, are, are oh. I supposed to read this? Basics of battle. Press square to attack. Hold square yes. to unleash an attack capable of hitting multiple. Oh, the AoE is the hold square. Okay. You're okay. coming. Let's yeah. just hold it down. No, I don't think so. You just, uh, it's, Wait. this is square. Square. Is this just, is, are we playing, is this auto murder everybody mode? Let's go. No. I, I put it on normal, but I swear I pressed one button there and I just dispatched all of my foes. Well, look at the size of your sword. <laughs> yeah, take it again. It's not the size or... of your sword, it's how you swing it, It fella. really is, and <laughs> fortunately for Cloud Strife, his sword is pretty huge, and he swings it really well, so. Well. Yeah, calm down. Have fun. Eric. La ladies love cool strife. I mean, I was gonna say and gentlemen, but it's, you know, whatever. Freeze. And gentlemen. It's really, I mean, it's Everybody doing something for strife. me, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I'm personally a fan of, of Jesse in this. Jesse. Jesse James. Team Rocket blast off from the speed of light. <laughs> <laughs> you can expend ATB <laughs> gauge. Don't laugh at me. ATP or ATP ATB gauge charges to perform battle commands such as using abilities, magic, or items. Press X it, and try using it. Do you know what ATB stands for? Automated technical busting no all the butts <laughs> i was close that was a lot closer than it should have been braver yeah. wait Whoa. good thing i used that on him yeah that worked great yeah okay so i it's very interesting that during combat you're stopping combat to to select very in a turn-based way so this yeah. is okay this is something actually that you can speak on because you Definitely know more about the universe Drop and the, the games uh, of old and new uh, more than I do. So yeah. yes. I don't want to say anything a little uh, or uneducated, I guess. But let's talk about the combat in this game. Um, I know just me speaking with Melanie on it, she was talking about this game being... Uh, she was hoping that it was going to be a lot more real turn-based like 7 was. Yeah. Um, and then she thought it was kind of interesting that it was this action mixed. So go ahead and just talk on the combat and I will just try to dispatch these guys and get movement. Sure, so in the game, obviously the combat is extremely different. And over the years in Final Fantasy, you've seen combat evolve. Like in 13, they started going more toward a sort of active or sort of real-time-esque battle, time, battle system and things like that. But this is the one that I think is most, you know, actual real-time fighting but there's still some of those turn-based elements and to be honest i am not a final fantasy fan but i have always wanted to be a final fantasy fan the thing that's kept me away is that i never enjoyed so the gameplay of final fantasy games 
Okay. He's got balls, like, this, uh, I like uh, real-time action, Clock and I'm not a huge fan of turn-based combat. Wait, Although I have okay. played some turn-based RPGs back in the day. I'm uh, similar. I, I mean, I don't play nearly the amount of, like, RPGs <laughs> and things um, that, this is you know, you do, game. but the when it's done, I've got to be honest, if I'm going to play a game, uh, I enjoy I enjoy a lot more action packed mashing. You know the Devil May Cry yeah. kind of feel. Well, no, uh, you probably do play as many RPGs as I do because I try every Final Fantasy game and I get a couple hours in and then I give up. <laughs> You're um, like that. That's enough for me. Right. So I've got I I have a lot of friends that are really into it and I uh, you know have some sort of accumulated knowledge that I've gotten sort of from people sure. and from being around it and from you know watching the movies and trying the games and knowing the characters um but Come this on, is my first time actually playing or getting they into playing through final fantasy 7. yeah what I okay. not interested okay. like i said i played the other one but i like got part way in and as soon as i actually saw the real game i was kind of like eh, <laughs> i think there's something else to play yeah yeah i feel Wait. you all right can we just take a look at Mr. Barrett here, and the fact He's that a... his forearm begins as a minigun. Well, does it? Is his hand in there? I, or is it I in hope a... so, but I'm not deal. sure. And judging by the length and where that barrel starts, I don't think his hand is in there. Maybe not, but then what is he? Uh, yeah, I guess it could work. I don't know. I think this is... See, and this is where I don't know, because someone that knows lore is going to be like, don't you know he lost his hand in this battle? And I'm going to be like, well... That's we don't have to know because you and I are sort of Final Fantasy noobs playing you know, one of the exactly. most famous games of all time for yeah. the first time. Which is, uh, which if you think about it, it's pretty yeah, funny. <laughs> it, it it's is kind of hilarious funny. actually because I I think it's actually, it's, it's really cool to be able to enjoy something that you don't know much yeah. about. And... Or, or not even enjoy, but just experience something, I guess, that you don't know yeah. much about. Going into something oh. completely fresh. I will tell you this, though. If you never played Final Fantasy, this is Final Fantasy VII, that is. Um, this game is probably not the best way to experience it. Like, if you really want to know why the original Final Fantasy VII was, you know, such a big deal, you probably need to go play the original Final Fantasy VII yeah. because this... I think in so many ways is very different. Although there are some parallels and things, I know for a fact that there's a lot that's very different about it. Right. So, oh well. And then also, I think it's very interesting what they're doing with the development of this, like, remake, remake, reboot sort of thing, uh, splitting the game into multiple parts. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, you know, apparently, I, I, as far as I know, right? I mean, am I, am I speaking? I, I don't know if I'm speaking you know, just completely ignorant on this or not, but I think this is one of three games that's going to be this way. I don't know how many there's going to be. There's and I honestly, there's something about like this being three games about Sep. If I'm not mistaken, not this so is fast. the first of We've got company. three games about Final Fantasy VII. That I legitimately don't know. Okay. But I, I do suspect what's going to happen is rather than let's tell the entire story of Final Fantasy VII over multiple games, I think it's going to be here are however many games we've chosen to make that take place in a Final Fantasy VII-esque universe, and they may choose to tell new stories within that or expanded stories, which this is very much an expanded story about a portion of the first the original game and then some right i could tell you some other things about it but it would be like massive spoiler alert for people and i can't i don't want to do that you mean when he died no, i'm just kidding <laughs> i love saying stuff like that and having no idea what's going on to be yeah. honest okay yeah we don't, don't know no i don't, we don't I actually don't which is the great part someone you know somebody mentioned the other day i was playing i forgot what i was playing someone mentioned harry potter and uh and it was kind of funny because I was like, well, you do know that or, uh, someone said something. I think I was doing an old, an old man voice and someone said, ha ha, Dumbledore. And I'm like, nah, because he's, well, I don't want to spoil it. And someone goes, someone goes, if someone's a Harry Potter fan or not, and at this point doesn't know about these massive parts of the plot, does it even matter if you spoil it anymore? <laughs> And I thought it was kind of funny because I didn't think of it that way. But honestly, 
<laughs> after it's gone so long or something's been out so long, it's kind of funny because it's like, well, do people, if you cared about it being spoiled, you think you would have played it over the last 20 years? <laughs> Man, I will tell you, we had one time, okay, so they, a couple, uh, maybe last year or the year before, they did the Dishonored, like, Definitive Edition or something yeah. like that. Okay. And we 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 had covered it and we were talking about the game and talking about some of the things that happen in it uh and i got an angry email saying Soldiers why would you do this this includes spoilers and blah 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 and i was like this game came out four years ago this is a, a like a remaster of it like that's like saying Dude, how could you tell me that Darth Vader is Luke's father? That's a spoiler. I've not seen Star Wars or Empire Strikes Back yet. Like, there's a statute of limitations, I think. Wow. You mean Qui Gon Jinn? We can do this with you, or we can do this without. Does he really? Does it happen that way? Depends when it was built. Yeah, I feel you though. I I don't know. Spoilers are weird for me. I'm not a spoiler. I don't spoil anything for anyone. I, I also I try to I also got to be completely honest with you spoilers don't really mean anything to me um, in terms of like if somebody spoils like I, I can't really get something spoiled for me I don't know if it's the fact that I'm not passionate enough about anything to actually like you know I'm not like passionate enough to where it's gonna like bother me but my thing is if I'm passionate about something enough that a spoiler will bother me then I'll either play it or watch it before the spoiler happens it's so or it wasn't that's important enough for me to, to so, not get spoiled you know what i'm saying here's the thing though it's there funny. definitely are people that take a certain delight He's in alone. ruining something yes. for somebody by doing that yes. and i don't know what it is but i also think i've had more things ruined for me by trailers than anything else oh absolutely like and i'm like man that would have been hilarious or really shocking if they hadn't shown me yeah in the like trailer. that was the best one-liner in the movie and you put yeah. it in the trailer come on no yeah uh, i don't know i at the same time things can definitely get ruined or spoiled sure uh but i again i think that there's a certain limitation you know if something just came out two or three days ago or a week ago and somebody's talking about something and you're like hey hey, i haven't yeah. and they're like oh sorry man that's cool but if it's been two years three years 10 20 years 50 years you know it, come on that's your you, if you haven't you're gotten to tell it me yet, how that's that ends you. it's like well right. it hasn't mattered for a very long time wait am i supposed to open wait it's oh we're sorry we have to have a chat with jesse Let's, yes, let's have a Anyone chat with Jesse. She just happens to know someone can that can do? get the passcodes. Where'd Wedgie go? Wedgie? Yeah, that's what it said his name was. There. True. I don't know. Is that Charlie Sheen? It might be Charlie Sheen. Wait, is it th that, fa this fella? I yeah, go look at him. Look at his face. I'm trying to get a nice... Charlie? That's, Bit that's my thing. Oh, okay. It kind of, I'm you sorry. You like how man. I brought up another internet meme because that's apparently all we live on. Charlie. Like, Charlie. <laughs> you know, oh. the shoe train, you Charlie. Know Tifa, right? Candy, Candy Mountain. Mountain. Really business, but <laughs> it's not really close? my business, but are you guys close? I'd be like, I like no, how we're not just close at all. Look at him. He no. just mauls the whole time. Oh, wait, what's happening here? What? You like how he's just, f like, f frowning, like, quizzically, just, like, looking like he's in a half-dream state all the time? I love it. Well, he is. I, I know. Look it's at just... this. Wow, this is kind of a lot to digest. Wait, Tifa? Are you ignoring me? T That's Tifa. Tifa? It's like That's tiny Tifa. Tiny Tifa. Tiny Tifa. Tifa That's funny. It's like a Borderlands Final Fantasy crossover. Yes. Yes, it is. The crossover that everyone wanted, but no one's going to get. Wait a minute. Everyone wanted? Um, you didn't know you wanted? Yeah, there we go. The crossover you didn't know you wanted, but you always did. Yes. This is Tiny quite Tifa. the uh, opulent Yes. Body. Yes, quite opulent. Opulent. Ooh, I like the floorboard lighting there. The end uh, floorboard. The, uh, yes, very uh, nice. To call what is that called? The, the molding, right? High digger. We are uh, currently, we're currently investigating, investigating whether they, they belong to the same group that made the attempt, made the attempt on, on your life. Oh, this guy's real gruff. Uh, yes, I rest assured. Yes, I rest assured. will not take much longer. 
Our right. inquiries will yeah, not I wonder take if the much guy longer. That narr- like that did his this voice actually talks like that because if not, that would be rough sleep, to keep that up for. I mean, I don't know how much he talks. It could be. Sucking up, Marco. It doesn't rest. Marco. I like Barrett a lot. What Marco is, don't you? Why? I just love his attitude. You see the look on his face when he walked up to Cloud in the first scene when they met there? He just was like... I feel like he's kind of got a little bit of like um, like Teen Titans Go uh, cyborg thing going on. Where he's just like extra ag- aggressive, loud yeah, all the yeah, time. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. I want to hear him sing a song about meatballs now. Like on a scale of one to ten, he's a thirteen at all times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's that's how I feel. He's got a fresh that, cut though, I, man. I, he I got feel lined like he's up nice. That would be right? you. His barber's not closed right now. No, that would be you. It you would, would be. be it would. You would be Barrett. You're totally right. That's probably why I'm. A, see, I'm usually attracted to characters that I can kind of like personality wise almost identify with a bit like i like a lot of like high energy oh, crazy God, characters no. yes and so yeah uh, I, could, I could see that you know what though what's that you listening merc this One is where we're gonna stop move. for this episode wait we gotta okay i think let me get to the end of this this well, is so we gotta see what to uh, we're not gonna huh are we gonna stop a mid-conversation no no we'll let them finish okay. the conversation and then <laughs> and, and then, then and we then disappear into the, the abyss. Would you? And then. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, relax. It's just Jesse. Should have asked for more. Money. I like Jesse. She's cool. <laughs> Although that metal shirt looks so uncomfortable. Okay. I feel fun bad fact. For her. You see how she has got the metal sure. breastplate right there? Yes. Okay. So not to get weird here, but you see how it has uh, like accentuated uh, pockets for spots that fit into i guess <laughs> uh the, okay yeah. the breastplate has like breast pockets if if you will right <laughs> yes okay yeah. so here's a fun fact last thing i'm gonna say before we wrap up this episode um oh boy is that is actually not accurate towards uh protection back in the day when they used to make like in in medieval times or anything any kind of war plates uh if there were any females in war in that way they didn't they didn't build out a a breastplate to be like that because what would actually happen is if they took a blow to the chest it would it would really mess them up yeah it would literally break their sternum well, thanks if for that, that somewhat so, irrelevant anecdote yeah, because so, this is not in medieval times. I, right, but she's got, it's still medieval armor. Like that's, you know, it's like a breastplate made of Maybe metal. that's made out of an impenetrable metal. Okay. All right, All you right, know, this well, is a good place to If you want to play <laughs> Final Fantasy VII Remake, it's available right now. So go to GameStop.com and order yourself a copy okay. there, fella. <laughs> I'm just a little upset that you dismissed me like that. But this sounds good. Everyone, yeah, this is the uh, episode one of three for yeah, Final Fantasy more VII Remake. More is coming. And if you guys want to check out other games and stuff, head over to the YouTube channel for GameStop and uh, watch the playlist till your heart is content. But until yeah. then, we'll see you next time. I am Joey. Uh, you can find me on the internet at uh, It's Awesome Joey on Twitter and Awesome Joey everywhere else. And I'm Eric. You can find me on Twitter at Nuclear is Lonely. Yeah. All right. We'll catch you next time. See ya.